Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of season 3, part 2 of Attack on Titan. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> Shut the fuck up, car! Yeah. Okay. Come Levi. Oh No, mm -mm. Who? Wait, go. So 
So, gotta use that shit wisely. But if you can use it on someone who is almost dead, well, no, it's 50 out of 50, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to go over there. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you have it. Fucking course. Yeah, and they already got what they wanted. preview was about like months ago in October wasn't it he had to fucking choose mm -mm. Mm -mm. oh my god no mm -mm. no they're both still breathing Oh god, I'm getting stressed. He was until Irwin showed up, but <sighs> Oh 
I mean, they're both fucking important, but just, oh my god, I'm scared. I don't want to do this. I don't want to watch this. Like, it's two people who are, oh shit. Uh, mm hmm. But I mean. Yeah, and if he hadn't shown up, you just would have given it to Adamine, right? But because... Oh, fuck. It's not fair, though. God, I'm about to cry again. See, what if you give it to him and it doesn't fucking work? Then what do you do? That's like not only for Erwin, that's either one of them. Please, like as much as I love Erwin. You need both of them! Shit, look at that.
Damn. And if you want to give it to Erwin, give it to Erwin. It's fine. No matter who he gives it to, it's fine. I mean, at the same time, Levi could be lying, but I don't know. I don't know what to feel or think at this point. Is that his way of saying no?
I got mixed feelings. I really do. I'm a little torn because in a way, even if he would have gave it to Erwin, Aaron would have been pissed off and off about it for like the rest of his life. That would have been something that Levi would have regretted, but it's still the same thing with the fact that he chose Adamine instead of Erwin. But for Erwin to like slap it away, I mean, it, it was kind of like any like to say no. That's what it felt like to me. But um to finally know what that fucking scene was and that it was about deciding who got I don't even know what else to say about it. I mean, damn. I'm just torn. Mm -hmm. I, I like the episode overall. Didn't think dude, like, mm, but no, he kind of deserved it. I'm kind of happy that he's dead. But, oh, I just got mixed feelings. That's all. I, I don't even know what to really say about it. Of course. Fucking finally! We're going. Yes! 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 Oh my fucking god. Thank Christ. I swear to god, if I had to wait like two more episodes just to see what the fuck is in this damn basement. I mean, anything could be in this fucking basement. I was sitting here thinking, I think like a couple of days ago, I, I thought maybe what could be in there is like, no, I don't think like, at first I kind of thought like maybe test tubes or something with like a body inside of it. And I don't think, at first I was thinking, oh, it could be Aaron's dad. But then at the same time I was like, no. I, as of now, I don't know what the fuck could be in there. It, it's just going to be something that's going to change maybe the show like drastically. Even with the fact that, yes, Erwin has now died. What's his face is now dead. I mean, now feels guilty about it. But at the same time, he has now a second chance at life. And life is precious for him, ultimately, because this is now his second time being alive again. Like, literally being so close to death's door. But is it going to get worse from now? Like, I, I really feel like it is. Like, now, well, like, we're all, it's all, like, kind of calming now. Now. But maybe, like, next week and then the week after, leading into the final episode of this season, like, it, it's going to get worse. I, I still hate the fact that, you know, Levi was the one who had to choose because, I mean, he was so close to giving it to Adamina at first. And then here comes Erwin, and I'm like, you know, shit. I'm like, this is going to fuck me over, and this is going to be like, mm, who's the favorite kid or some shit like that. And you're like, I, I can't imagine, like, being him and just wanting to choose at this point. Like, who do you choose? Like, someone who you've known for so many years versus someone who wants to see the sea, the sea versus the basement. Like, if Erwin was still alive, like, I would have been happy that he would have been able to finally just see in the basement. That's the thing. And even though a lot of people were like, saying crap about what happened like two episodes ago where I was like, okay, he, he could just go. But at the same time, I was like, no, he can't because of this, is that, and the third. And I understood that. But I was like, in my heart, I was just like, damn it, just go. I was like, because when you have that feeling and that gut instinct, I don't know. But I literally got no fucking clue about what the fuck could happen next. Like, I'd be surprised if they go in that stoop in the basement, and someone's just there, just been waiting until the day for everyone to finally fucking come down there or something. I don't know. I'm just at a loss of words. I, I literally have nothing else to say about this, but it was a good fucking episode. Just 
kept me on my toes. I got a little, uh, you know, makes me always stress every single time when I watch this damn show, but I love it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode <clears throat> six of season three, part two of Attack on Titan. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode seven. Bye, guys.